Let's discuss the idea of reflecting over a horizontal line. So let's just draw a random horizontal line. We can define this line by the equation of y equals 2. And now let's just choose a random point. If we want to reflect this point over the horizontal line y equals 2, then you can think of this as if we're folding the plane over this horizontal line. And if we fold the plane, then this point that we have here, it should be landing somewhere over here. It should go from the lower side of the horizontal line to the upper side of the horizontal line. But where exactly does it land? Well, let's consider some properties when we are reflecting over a horizontal line. And the first property is that the image and the pre-image are equidistant to the line of reflection. So let's start by finding how far is this point away from the line of reflection. So A is 4 units away from the horizontal line. One way to think about it is the difference of y's. So point A has a y value of negative 2. So how far is the y value of negative 2 to the y value of 2? That will be 4 units. So now that we know how far it is, let's give that same distance on the other side of the line. So now we have to find exactly the location if we would have reflected point A over the horizontal line y equals 2. And one thing to notice is that the coordinate point of the image and the pre-image, the x value does not change because we are only moving at a vertical direction. And that will be the second property that we need to consider. The x value does not change, only the y. If we consider a line segment that connects the image with the print image, that line segment will always be perpendicular to the line of reflection. Let's choose another random point and let's reflect over the same line. Let's start by finding the distance from this point to the line of reflection. That will be 6 units. So therefore, the image should be located 6 units away from this line. So now we have our coordinate point for the image of B. That will be 3,8. So what is the notation that we can use when we want to reflect over a line? We always use a lowercase r, and as a subscript, we write the line of reflection. So notice that in here, we were reflecting over the line y equals 2. Therefore, the notation for this reflection should be r with a subscript of y equals 2. Let's take a look at another example. So let's consider three coordinate points. And what we want to do, we want to reflect it over the line y equals 3. Let's plot those points. Now let's connect those points. Let's draw our line of reflection. So essentially, what we want to do here, we want to reflect this triangle over the line y equals 3. We're going to reflect one vertex at a time. Let's concentrate on vertex A. Let's find the distance from point A to the line of reflection. That distance is 5, so to find the location of A prime, let's move away 5 units away from the line. Now let's reflect point B. Let's find the distance from B to the line of reflection. B is 4 units away from the line of reflection, so to find B prime, let's move 4 units away from the line of reflection. So now let's reflect point C. 
it is 3 units away from the line of reflection. But now to find C prime, let's give 3 units away from the line of reflection on the other direction. Now let's define our new triangle. What we have done here, we have reflected the triangle ABC over the line Y equals 3. Let's express this reflection using the correct notation. So we reflected over the line Y equals 3. We got point A at negative 2, comma, negative 2. And after the reflection, it landed at negative 2, comma, 8. Now let's show the notation when we reflected point B. So we did a reflection over the same line. We got point B at negative 6, comma, negative 1. And the image was at negative 6, comma, 7. And lastly, let's show the notation for the reflection of point C. Let's consider one more question. Can we consider this reflection as an isometry? So to answer this question, we got to take a look at the figure of the image and the pre-image. Let's show the pre-image in blue. Now let's show the image in pink. Now notice that the image and the pre-image is essentially the same triangles, just in a different location. We have not made the triangle bigger. We have not made the triangle smaller. We just changed the location of this triangle. So we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And because the image is congruent to the pre-image, then we can say that this reflection, it's an isometry. And as a matter of fact, we will always get an isometry. A reflection will always be an isometric transformation. Hello, if you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.